Right. Recording in progress. Namaste once again. Uh, we will not do our rooms. We've done them. But uh, this, this is just because last time I forgot and I was about to forget again today. But uh, thankfully I remember. Okay. So you have done your practices, you've done your Shivasko Shuddhi Kriya, and you've done the breath work that you learned in the last two sessions, basically. Are we clear? Yeah. Is that okay with everyone? Yes. So what was the last breath work? What was the last thing? You take in the breath from the Manipura. Very good. Very good. And, and then you, you take it and then you release it. But always you are conscious that you are taking it from the Manipura Chakra because it is the fire Very element good. and fire Very is essential good. to combat the Kapha. Very good. So the basic idea, the basic concept is very clear to you, Shwetamarishi, that's very good. Now, obviously, when you breathe through the uh, Manipura, it's not a physical breath that we take through the Manipura, it's a subtle breath that we draw in. Now, when you do, when you draw the subtle breath through the Manipura, it's in a sense as if you are using a subtle part, a subtle body, one of the subtler bodies uh, in the system, number one. Sometimes you might also want to continue with that breath coming down the sesta. I have no problem with that. Let that happen. But at the same time, simultaneously, the Manipura draw should happen. As if you're drawing in the breath from the Manipura and forward. Simultaneously, you are pulling that breath up from the money from the Muladhar up along the spine. That is very important. You are drawing in the breath from the Manipura. But a simultaneous movement is happening from the muladhar up along the spine. Now, remember, I did not say that you need to challenge the breath from the manipura. You don't, you don't have to channel the breath from the manipura to the muladhar and up. I'm not saying that because then your mind gets into uh, gets confused with all this work. So just two things basically: you are drawing in breath from the manipura. And you are pulling up your breath from the muladha up along the spine. Two very, very simple and basic things. I hope every, everyone has done this and it's happening reasonably comfortably. No? I, I need responses. I need to know what, what people so, are experiencing. Yeah, yeah. So what I was doing is, uh, you know, I was pulling in breath from my manipura. And then it was making a U-turn and going up. Okay. Uh, so, that is okay. So, I have no problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, no problem uh, with that. Okay. Or can I simultaneously draw both from my Manipura Chakra and base of my spine? And you know, then... No, I'm not, I'm not asking... Yeah, I'm not asking you to draw breath from the base of the spine now. Because when you draw <laughs> from the base of the spine... In, in a sense, you are increasing your earth element, which is part of the kapha dosh. I'm asking you not to do that because on the one hand, you're trying to reduce it, but your actions on the other hand are trying to increase it. You know? If okay, your breath yeah. through the through the uh, is going to add to the earth element, then we are working to a contrarian purpose. On the one hand, we are trying to increase fire element, but at the same time, we are giving it a little more earth element. Yeah. So why make, why make things difficult for ourselves? But I, I said for the Sahasra, because see, this is the source. This is the source in a sense. So let it happen, no problem. But for now, while doing this practice at least, for the Kapha Dosh, Focus on the Manipura and not on drawing energy or breath from the uh, These for, for this much. Today we are going to do something very interesting that, uh, again, you know, is very, very rare, but is a very, very powerful technique. Uh, I'm going to introduce this to you in slow uh, movements or in slow uh, increments so that it settles into you a little more easily. This, the name of this technique is what I call Lotus Opening. Very, very powerful program, but a very subtle program. 
So what we will do, is I'm, I'm uh, going on the basis that you have done all your practices. So I'm going to focus a little more on this. Otherwise, I want you to do your physical, you know, the freehand movements and the exercise because otherwise it doesn't work so well. So now please lie down on your back uh, on a mat as usual. You can pull your heels up to your buttocks, no problem, but please lie down. Lie down on your, on your back, heels to the buttocks, uh, uh, knees pointed to the ceiling. Stay in that position. So basically, you are allowing belly breathing to happen as you are lying there. That is the first thing. Stay like this. Stay relaxed. If like, you may close your eyes. Focus them gently to the center of the forehead, the Agya Chakra. Sit on. Hmm? Where do we have Sorry? to focus? In the Agya, you know, center of the forehead. Okay. Gentle, gentle focus, very light focus, mild focus. So now stay in this position for a couple of minutes. And draw, bring your attention to two, bring your attention to two movements. One is the breath moving down towards the Mooladhar. That is movement number one. And movement number two is your breath moving from the Mooladhar up along the spine. So become conscious of these two movements. One is your breath moving down to the Mudadhar. So will be coming from the Sahaspa. If you want from the uh, Manipura, that is also okay. But if you get it from the Sahaspa, you get a full flow. You get an understanding of the full flow. So that breath is coming down. Just as you do when you do your belly breathing and your freehand exercises. The breath is coming down, going to the Mudadhar. That is one movement. And the second movement is your breath up the spine from the mani, uh, from the muladhar. So, sense of both these movements happening simultaneously. Okay. Stay with this for a few moments, for a few minutes, maybe. <laughs> Very relaxed. Just, just notice how your breath is moving down. Maybe from the Sahestra all the way down to the Muladha. And the, simultaneously from the Muladha up along the spine. This is part of the Hanuman master breath which you've seen for, for some time. And you have an idea that this is what is to be done. If some of you cannot feel your breath in breath going down all the way to the Muladhar, maybe you get the feeling that it's going a little uh, less than Muladhar, maybe belly or a little lower than, than the belly, under belly area. Fine, doesn't matter. Let that awareness stay with you. But simultaneously, that is one movement. The other movement is the one up your spine. This is happening with the in breath. The out breath, as usual, be channeled, uh, channeled up the spine. No issues with that. So the in breath is happening. It's like a double movement, like a you know, like in a lift. One part is coming down, one part is going up. So that is one movement. The out breath is all up along the spine. Stay focused on your breath. Don't let your mind play games with you. <clears throat> Be with your breath and get an awareness of this happening. So when you start feeling the breath moving down, try to get a sense of where it is happening in the body. Where inside your body is the breath moving down towards the Muradhar? And the one up the spine, of course, is up the spine. So that should not be an issue at all. But 
get a sense of be, become aware of the sensation of the breath moving down and up simultaneously. So now basically what you are doing is you are experiencing two channels of breath at the same time because it is part of your experience. One is going down Breath is going down and simultaneously one breath is coming up. So it is part of your experience. You know it's happening. So it's not something that is uh, new or something that is hard to understand because it's part of your experience. So these two things are happening simultaneously. Let that be. Now try to bring one more focus into your attention. As you continue breathing, See if you can sense, see if you can feel one channel also going down almost in the front of your body, almost as if it's you know, just touching the front part of your body and moving downwards. See if you can sense it. If you sense it, good. If you cannot sense it, no problem. But I just want you to get a sense of the different channels of breath moving in from all the way from the Sahastra basically to the Muladha. Stay with this for a few minutes. Enjoy the sensation. Enjoy the awareness of different channels of breath inside your own body that you were never aware of, maybe. Maybe you were, I don't know. But maybe you were never aware of them. So enjoy that sensation. You are becoming more intimate with your breath. You are becoming more intimate with your body. You are understanding. You are discovering a little more about your body that you may have had a little awareness awareness of earlier. So that's a wonderful thing. Stay with your breath. It doesn't matter how long your breath is or how short it is. But longer, the better. Longer, smoother, easier, the better. Remember to keep your tongue at the roof of your mouth, as we've been doing always. Stomach very relaxed. The more relaxed your stomach is, the more easy it will be for you to experience or to become aware of all these channels of breath. Uh, Sridharanji, you need to bring your knees together, more or less. Yeah. Don't be stiff, be relaxed. So just because I'm asking you to bring them together, don't allow any stiffness. Somebody is having trouble staying here, I think. Somebody seems to be on I think Shri Shri Are you having difficulty with your connection? <clears throat> Stay in this position. I don't want you to move, but I want you to start. Uh, sharing what you are experiencing. So, yes, whoever yes, wishes to speak. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Aap kuch bol rahe te. Ah, ne, aap, lie down. Don't get up. Stay in that lying down position. No, I just want you to explain the whole breath which we need to take. I will. I will. Just once yeah. more. I'll yeah. just so, want to get back. it once more. Yeah, but lie down. Please lie down. Okay. Be on your back. Be very relaxed. Be on your back. Stay like that for some time. So what you are doing is basically very simple. Your tongue is at the roof of your mouth. Your belly is very relaxed. You are drawing in the in-breath from the Sahastra as you've been doing earlier. Let it go all the way down to the Muladha. 
So that is one movement that is happening. Your breath is moving in this way. <clears throat> Simultaneously, as you've learned in the Hanuman Master Prayer, or the part of the Hanuman Master Prayer, which I've shared earlier, where you channel your breath up the spine. So since you are channeling that up the spine, you should now be aware of two clear channels. Aware because one is moving down and one is moving up. So since that is happening easily, hopefully easily, it should not be an issue with you. Are we clear, uh, Sangeeta ji? Yeah. So stay with that for a while. Yeah. Um, the others, does anybody have anything to share? Anything you've noticed? How clear is what, what I've said to you in your experience? Is it part of your experience? Responses, please, if you noticed. Is no one able to uh, experience uh, this? So, uh, yeah, yeah, this I'm able to do this. Uh, I can, I, I'm able to take the breath from Sahasrara to Muladhar and simultaneously from Muladhar to Sahasrara. But somewhere it's around heart area, uh, it's getting stuck. The up breath is getting stuck. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Okay, one second. So, you are not getting the sense of it moving all the way through. Uh, without any impediments. So that is one thing. But the yeah. two channels, the experience of two channels is clear to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very clear. And that's, okay. I noted, it's from behind the uh, uh, backside, you know. It's along, very good. It's along the spine, basically. Yeah, it's very along good. the spine, yeah. Very, bas uh, basically. So that's very good. Mm -hmm. Now, other than this, I also want you to bring your awareness to a third channel which is skimming along the front almost as if it's almost at, at the almost at the surface not really surface but somewhat al along that you know, some may say see if you can get a sense of that so like, I, tried, uh, I tried that and uh, yeah so it's not simultaneously it's not uh, the third channel the front channel is not very clear it i mean i can feel it's there but you know it's not going down you know, it's not coming down very clearly. Uh, I think that so is you're getting a hint. Like Yeah. So you're getting a hint of it, but it's not very clear. No problem yeah, with that. Yeah. yeah. When it becomes, when that awareness becomes clearer, then please share. For now, yeah. go back, lie down on your back, continue with that breath. Yeah. See what you can notice. See, remember one thing. This is not about, you know, imagination. Where imagination is required, I will tell you. This is now yeah. about pakka experience. This is something that you notice in your body. That is all. So it is. It should be. You need to tell me exactly what you are sensing and experiencing. Yeah, I can. I can sense some type of electric current going down from top to muladhara, and then from muladhara simultaneously it's coming up, but getting stuck somewhere. Uh, around heart area, so yeah, yeah so it's those not are the two. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, those are the two channels. But now I want you to uh, get, uh, experience the third channel. Ah, yeah, okay. Which is the third channel? That's what I wanted to ask. Yeah, the third channel just just now was saying it's along the front. It's almost as if it's along the front. Where is the second channel? Where are the two channels you have experienced so far? Have you experienced two channels, Sangeeta ji? So, uh, one you are saying that you... No, I'm not saying. Forget about me. Forget about me. I'm asking you, what is your experience? Have you noticed two channels so far? Yeah. Like, when I'm, uh, you know, taking the breath, it's going almost to the muladhar. 
and then uh, you know like going up the spine yeah so the that, one that is one second so the one that is going to the muladhar can you get a sense of where in your body that is happening where is yeah. that happening inside yeah where matlab when i am taking a breath down right like it is going down in the front side it's in the front side okay fine yeah. fine then, yeah. then let it be let that be fine for now let it be like that doesn't matter take stay with that stay with that go back to your go back to your prone position lie down on your back Huh. continue to watch your breath and the same way just take it down same, and, same. and then just back up the spine same thing just continue so, uh, back up the spine sometimes i'm feeling sometimes i'm not feeling it doesn't matter keep keep your awareness there jab jab aata hai notice kariye that is all but stay in that position keep your belly relaxed very relaxed what about the others Are you experiencing the different Sir. channels of breath? Sir, I'm Priya. Your voice is not clear. Ah, uh, Priya, Shamu ko Priya sa. Ah, yes, yes, Priya ji. Okay. Um, sir, I could feel that uh, the front while breathing in, so the front channel I could feel it. and the middle channel it's like otherwise when we when we raise the breath uh, we used to feel it in the spine right from mm. uh, like mm. from last week itself it mm. is like this like somewhere in between as i have sent you a report mm. so the spine is totally relaxed completely relaxed mm. uh, but somewhere in between initially the very first time when i did there was some um, slight coughing was there after that it was really good and actually uh, even while sleeping every night also normally i used to take a very long time to get into deep sleep nowadays it's like uh, when we keep our spine erect what other question like we when we keep our spine erect and within maybe consciously some four to five breath i'm i'm just dozing off nice very nice yeah, very now very deep sleep sorry sorry yeah. no that is excellent but at this moment what i want to know is your experience of the different breath channels i want you to tell friend, me which are the, the yeah which are the channels you are experiencing uh, the front channel the front channel uh, and uh, the middle channel so you are experiencing two channels but you are not experiencing you are not experiencing the spine channel no sir spine channel means there is no uh, pressure nothing like that it's completely relaxed and clear uh, channeling of uh, breath and i just have a question it's like uh, a kind of a voluntary mula band it's not very very severe like how we normally do with effort but uh, it is happening on its own then i have to realize okay Um, certain say any mulaban mm. sort of but mm. when we do a mild mulaban state it is really very good uh, mm. very nice such a nice feeling completely relaxed is that mm. okay or uh, that that is perfect all right but i'm still i'm still looking for clarity on what channels of breath you are experiencing inside you so you said there is a front channel and we also said there is a middle somewhere somewhere in the middle of the system fine but at the same time you keep saying ki aapka spine channel is also there so then are you saying two or are you saying three it is three sir it is three that is the question to aap bolte ho do but ek baat karte ho teen ki do i get then i get confused okay, okay. okay. The, and it is okay. clearly the three thing is like the middle channel no. all these men no. we were not aware like uh, we're doing yoga and meditation for long years but no. still it is only two channels we were aware of uh, mm. while doing belly breathing this thing was there and through the spine all that but there is this middle channel which is really very mm. new and uh, seriously it's effortless maybe a minimum effort is needed but mm. the experience is uh, very deep um, i could so i want you to yes sir so i want you to keep this awareness that middle channel and the front channel 
Fine channel, I'm not going to talk about it because we've been talking about that. We've been working on that. So I'm taking that as a given. I'm taking that as a, already a part of everyone's experience, almost everyone's experience. So I'm not going to focus too much on the spine channel for now. The focus is on the mid, what you call the middle channel and the front channel. That is the focus. So fine. Very good. Please uh, go back, lie down, stay in that position for some more time. Keep watching your breath. Go on. Very good. So can uh, I um, can I lie down in Shavasana because, because yes, of yes, this yes, knee, yes. Knee, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knee. No problem. I ask you to bend the knees to face or uh, to uh, to uh, because I have this injury at the knees. No problem. No problem. Very good. Yes, can I sit? Can I sit, sir? Even this is also fine for me. Yes, but I think you'll get better results when you are in Shavasana or lying down sure. on your back. Okay, Abhi, for now, for this particular. Sure. So, uh, Rajesh ji. Still like that. Thank you. Okay. Haji. Yes, so, I am, uh, yeah, yeah. So, what I experienced is I, mm. I can feel that uh, through the front channel, my air is going down. Sometimes I feel that is airing, uh, air is uh, going through my whole, whole body, like something like that. Mm. But I can also feel the channel also. It, it goes, goes up to the Muladhara. And then I also feel when I'm, uh, I mean, releasing the breath, I feel that it is uh, from the back channel. I can feel uh, the sensation and I also feel little warmness, very warm, warm, warm uh, of my back channel. It, it seems no like it is placed like this with a wall no and this air is going up. No so you are saying you can experience two channels, is yes. that right? Yes. So at at this moment you cannot experience what uh, Priya ji called the middle channel. You can't experience that yet. Is that right? No, no. I I experience one channel that is the air is going up to the my muladhara, and then uh, another channel through which it is. I know. Up. I know. I know, Buddha Dev, you don't repeat, you know, otherwise we'll just get stuck in the same thing. Please understand the question and answer it. Your out breath moving up the spine, usko chhod dije. I'm not talking about it. For the down channel, you are experiencing at this moment only one channel. Is that right? Yes, yes. Tick. So go back. Lie down on your back. I'll explain. Go back. Right? Anybody else? Anyone else? Uh, Sneha ji? You'll have to unmute yourself, Sneha ji. Hello. Hello? Yes. Yeah. What have you yeah, noticed? So, uh, it's only one as of now for me. <clears throat> only one breath. You are experiencing only one channel? Yes. In breath, yeah. In breath, in breath, the spine. In breath and out, out breath, I feel only one. So when you are doing the in breath, and I'm asking you to move that breath up the spine, that is not happening. Move up the spine, yes, I can do it, but that is like a con uh, like consciously, consciously, I have to tell, okay, uh, I have to do it with the spine. But if I just leave mm -hmm. that thought and say, okay, let it go the way it is, then, uh, then I feel it's only one, one as of now. No. So when we do the Hanuman master breath, it is obviously a conscious choice, you know, because we are moving the breath. One is the down breath towards the muladhar, and the other is from the muladhar up along the spine. So that Hanuman master breath is a conscious decision to move the breath like that. So when you do that, do you experience both these channels or not? No, I still experience one only. See, again, now there is a contradiction. Because just a moment ago, you said when you do it consciously, then you experience it. And then you say, no, you uh, experience that only one. That is, I'm saying with the spine. With the spine, yes. Then there because are two. That is the one. That is the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the spine channel and one more channel. Is that right? So that is still two channels, no? 
communication has to be very clear. You know, if you if you do not understand the question, you may ask me again. But communication needs to be clear. Otherwise, you know, we just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Doesn't lead us anywhere. So this awareness of two channels, that's a start. It's an awareness key at the same time. Your breath is moving down also, and one part of that breath is moving up also. That is clearly yes. in your experience. Is that right? Yes, so that's the, correct. The channel where you are, so the channel where you are experiencing the down movement, where is that channel located in your experience? Where do you feel that channel? Uh, just maybe at the end of the uh, belly. No. The channel cannot be at the end of a belly. The channel is throughout, so it cannot be at the end of the belly. It may be okay. on the surface, outside surface. It may be somewhere towards the more central part of your body. What somebody called middle. It could be something like that, or it could be something else. So what is? Yeah, that? I feel it. I feel it outside. Outside. <laughs> Very good. No problem. I want you to keep this awareness. Go back to your position on your back. Stay with that. And continue with your breath work that you are doing so far, but keep that awareness of both the channels. <laughs> yes, Shweta Mariji. Hmm. Uh, so this is the first time I'm doing Hanuman Master Breath because I missed the other class. I was not confident of doing it under your without your supervision. The belly breathing has become extremely light when I'm doing Hanuman Breath. Never have I experienced this much lightness in the belly, but there is extreme heaviness in the Mooladhara area. because i am able to feel that i am holding on to many things in life and that is what is solidified there and uh, i feel like staying more time in uh, focusing on the spinal cord uh, that is the muladhara exit and entry mm -hmm. like when i am focusing on the air coming in through the muladhara the base of the spine and the belly breathing is happening there is so much of uh, i can see some darkness and some heavy weight as if i'm carrying some kgs of weight in my muladhara so abhi observe kar lijiye usko but bring your focus only to the movement of your breath tell you or tell your mind tell your mind ki i'll deal with the questions that you are raising later when i sit in meditation etc for now bring your awareness to your experience of the breath how the breath is moving stay with that for some time i never thought that i had a muladhara all this time because now i'm consciously going there i never thought that a part like that exists though i know physically it exists but experience i have experienced my muladhara ever since i started this this kind of breath okay so please go back on your back uh, lie down on your back and continue with this breath anyone else anything to share any observations yes sangeeta ji hmm. uh, like somebody shared you know they feeling heaviness in their muladhar hmm. i feel heaviness around my chest hmm. little bit मैं आप नहीं आप लोग फोकस व्हाई डू टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग जस्ट फोकस ऑन द ब्रेथ ना नो या एट दिस मोमेंट माय अटेंशन इज ऑन द ब्रेथ ये सब आप एक्सपीरियंस में आपके पहले भी आया है अभी भी आएगा आगे भी आएगा लेट इट लेट इट वर्क इट वर्क इट्स वे आउट लेट अस फोकस ऑन द करंट टास्क बिकॉज़ सी 1 घंटे का समय है आई वांट टू सी कि आप लोग को अवेयरनेस आपके चैनल से आ रही है कि नहीं है कि नहीं आ रही है कहां पे अटक रहे I want to understand. Okay. ये बताइए मुझे. नहीं वो I can feel the two channels going down and going up. Yeah. Okay, very good. So stay with that. Belly को जितना relax करें lightness जब ना बढ़ने लग जाएगी body में. Don't worry about that. Lie down. Is lie down. Lie down on your back. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Mama ji, Om Prakash Mama ji. Mm hmm. How is it working for you? Are you getting no, the experience of different channels? 
I confuse the channels. channels are okay, but the third hmm. channel is not. Okay. So the second channel, uh, other than the spine channel, the other channel is where? Is in the surface of the body or somewhere deeper in the body? No, no. The two channels are both in the spine. Okay, the very spine. good. Very good. Excellent. So the third channel so, I can't see. Okay, very good. So this is the both along the spine. So one is probably a little to the inside and one is probably a little to the outside, if I'm not wrong. So the one that is moving down is closer to the inside and the one that is moving upwards is to the outside along the back. Yes. Is it pretty much that? Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So that's similar to what some of the others have also reported. No issues with that. Very good. Now, as you all continue to be in this position, understand that your spine channel is only for the movement upwards. So all the breath that is happening, whether in breath or out breath, that you are channeling up the spine, stays the way it is. Bring your attention to something else. As you continue with your in breath, see if you can bring your attention to two different channels or see if you can willfully, you know, use your mind to channel your breath down somewhere around the middle and somewhere along the surface of your body. See if you can consciously do something like that. So then you will actually feel that there are two channels moving downwards. Two breath channels simultaneously moving downwards. Upwards ka to along the spine jo hai, usko chhod dijiye ka. It's a very subtle uh, sense. So, the more relaxed you are, the easier it will be for you to sense it. Snehaji, see if you can bring that attention over there. The more relaxed you are, the more easily it will happen. So now, jinko hoiga, hoiga, jinko ni hoiga, we'll have to try another day. But for now, stay in that position. And what you will do now is, if that awareness of the middle channel, that means the one that is closer to the spine. So it's almost as if the front of the spine, there is a channel which we are using to breathe down. And at the back of the spine, there is a channel which we are using to breathe up along the spine. So bring your attention to this. For front of the body, if there is that sensation, no problem, let it be. But try to get these two sensations at least. Along the spine, one in the front, or the front of the spine, one towards the back of the spine. So front of the spine will feel as if it's in the middle of the body, somewhere in the center of your body. And the one along your spine obviously seems to be up along the spine towards the outside and that is okay. See if that clarity comes in your experience. Rakesh, is it happening for you? Yeah, the front channel, I can uh, uh, do it like, uh, you know, if I focus only on front channel, I can, I can. Uh, ah. 
put the this brakes down. Good. Yeah, yeah. Only if I focus only on the front channel. No, no, yeah. I just want that awareness for now. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let it be. But now I want you to bring your attention back to the spinal channel. But the yeah. two channels along the spine. One feels as if it's moving down as you are breathing, which is to the center, middle, somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. And the spinal channel, which we use to uh, breathe out, but also part of the in-breath. So that... No, can, you, mm -hmm. can you please repeat the last sentence? Uh, there was some disturbance yeah. on the line. Yeah. yeah. So along the spine, we have used along the spine, so far, we have been used along the spine only for the breath that we move up from the Muladha up along the spine. Yeah. So that is the that is the one we have been consistently talking about. It. Is there? Yeah. Abhi, today, some have mentioned what they call the middle, somewhere in the middle. So that that channel somewhere along the middle is almost as if it is to the front of the spine. So spine, supposing supposing your spine is say about an inch thick, huh. the spinal channel that was that was earlier being mentioned is the one along the back, thicker yeah. standard. Or to samne ki taraf se jara wo say some, about an inch to the front ho gaya. So just bring that awareness. So as you breathe in, see if you can get that sense ki you are also breathing down the front of the spine, not the back of the spine. So one is like front. Uh, of the spine side of the spine which is different than yes. the front yes that is right which is different than the front channel that we were yes describing. yes Correct. and then there is a channel which goes inside the spine through we will river. think we will we will think of it as along the spine to go okay. the back yeah okay but easier okay. for easier no. yeah so this, this was happening already this this i could okay. do immediately Very what you have just described now Excellent. Yeah. So now stay with that. Stay ah, with this but uh, I can't experience. Do, ah, I can't do all the three simultaneously. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I just okay. told you, Rakesh ji, front ah. channel to awareness mein la diya, leave it now. Ah, ah, okay. Let it go. So now, some of you have got the experience of what Om Prakash ji said very nicely along the front of the spine and one along the back of the spine. So let's keep it that way. Or you can call it the middle. One channel feels like some, is somewhere in the middle and one feels that it's up along the spine. So I hope I'm clear as far as this is concerned. Priyaji, is that okay with you now? Yes, sir. Uh... Actually, there is this pulsating uh, feeling. It's good that I lie down. Um, it's even better than sitting. Because I could feel that pulsating feeling at the base of the spine and uh, upper back and behind the neck. No, it's my not question disturbing. again. Sorry, sir. No, my question is about the channels that you are experiencing. Are you clearly experiencing a channel somewhere in the middle that is leading your breath down towards the muladha and from the muladha along the spine somewhere at the back of the channel spine right you yes. clear hori na ab now stay with this everyone everyone stay with this close your eyes stay very comfortably with this now what you are going to do is very interesting but again a very very subtle experience so come on lie down everyone close your eyes and bring your attention to your lowest chakras, which is your uh, uh, muladha and the swadhishta. Now, there is a very subtle movement that happens when we go to defecate or when we go to urinate. If we go to defecate, we allow a very gentle dilation somewhere in the body, which allows the stool or the feces to pass through. Allow that same sensation to come to the muladhar area. Just that little bit of dilation. Just as just that happens when we go to defecate. Just as it happens when we go to urinate. It's a very gentle kind of a dilation which allows the waste matter to pass out. Bring your attention to these two. 
and allow a gentle dilation over there. Let your breath work through you, but allow this gentle dilation at the Muladhar and at the Swadhishthan. In some ways, it is similar to what we have been doing earlier, which I call ballooning or which I also call bloating. In some ways, there may be some similarities here. Some of you might notice it. A little bit of a uh, bloating, a little bit of a bottling as I as I have used before, a ballooning rather. So you do ballooning hori hai, allow this ballooning to happen along the front channel. One second. Not front channel, the middle channel, the front of the spine channel. Allow this ballooning to happen from the Muladhar Swadhishthan and let it rise. Let it come the Manipura, let it come to the Anahata, let it come to the Vishuddhi and let it go higher as well. So it's almost as if the whole of that front the middle channel has expanded a little, a very gentle expand, expansion. And you are doing it simply with the with your willpower. You just as when you go to urinate, almost without a, any conscious effort, you dilate something, you release something, you ease something, and then that expansion happens. That is the same thing that we are allowing to happen now along the channel. Bring your attention to that and see how clearly you can feel it. How far you can feel it. Is it only in the lower chakras? Can you feel this dilation happen up along the other chakras as well? Keep your stomach very relaxed. Breath feels a little smoother. You will feel that your breath has become a little lighter, a little easier. If that is the if that is the experience, that means that dilation is happening very well. Sangeeta ji, go back, lie down, experience. See if you can get that sensation in the lower chakras and also up the higher chakras. Almost falling asleep. Okay, <laughs> you're relaxed. So your breath has become smoother. Yeah. That means it's probably happening. Very good. It doesn't matter. Keep yourself awake, but keep stay with the experience. Feel that vibe. Feel that expansion. Feel that dilation. Feel that ease in your breath. Sir, the lower, uh, lower three chakras are feeling light now. Three the areas. Okay. Okay. And Very, good. Very good. Feeling, feeling sleepy and still keeping myself awake. Okay, okay, very good. Please stay awake. Don't fall asleep. Who was this? Who said this? Who said this just now? You can't bowl with heavy. Was that Sneha Ji? No, no, it was not me. I am about to tell you now. Okay, now who was that earlier? Who was saying this? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm able to feel that little bit of sense. At least a little bit of sense. I feel a bit relaxed now. I haven't come ah, in now. Okay, very good. Or so I'm that means... I lie on back and I, the cuff starts. Very good. So now that means a little bit of that dilation is beginning to happen. In the lower chakras particularly. Are you able to uh, move the dilation up to the higher chakras? No, li little bit of sense is there. I, I can okay. feel a little bit of sense over there. Before there okay. was no sense at all. I mean, I, okay. I even if I be consciously, but now I okay. feel a little bit relaxed over there. Okay. And is your breath a little smoother as well? 
yeah this is better and uh, the main thing is i haven't coughed or else i have to cough a lot yes beautiful now sneha ji ki this over the next few days hold this practice this build on this go deeper do it for 2 hours in a day if necessary or longer but do this get the sensation of the expansion isko hmm? isko increase kare okay. very good yeah, yeah buddha dev ji you want to say something na ji yeah this uh, the dilation or the little expansion you are talking so i feel it uh, while breathe out i think okay okay so Doesn't is matter. there anything But, like uh, while breathe in it has to be there or also yes yeah both both it has both. to happen both in the in breath and the out breath all you have to do is ye jo jaise when we defecate and when we urinate we do a little bit of easing we do a little bit of dilation automatically hota hai normally it is such a subtle thing it's such a gentle thing it happens automatically i just want you to bring your attention to that how do you do it when you do a little bit of when you defecate or when you urinate you allow that little bit of dilation little bit of yes, easing sir. allow that same sensation to happen there and up along the other chakras that okay. is okay lie down okay. and and, and and it is uh, both side like uh, both while sides, in yes. breath and the uh, out breath right yes both. so out breath yes. i am able to feel it now but in in no. breath dono mein dono mein it doesn't matter dono mein lai yes priya ji sir राकेश सर वन से समथिंग डजंट मैटर आप बोलिए पहले ओके अम सर विल इट बी लाइक दिस आई मीन या 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 यू राइट या दैट्स राइट ओके द वेरी वेरी सटल इट्स नॉट डिस्टर्बिंग वेरी वेरी सटल वेरी सटल एग्जैक्टली एट द चक्रास एंड इज इट ओके टू टेक इट हियर आई मीन ऑल द वे नो प्रॉब्लम एकदम पूरा ऊपर तक ले जाइए सहस्त्रार तक ले जाइए नो प्रॉब्लम the more you are able the more you are able to dilate the whole thing it's almost as if your whole sushumna is being dilated you will understand this later so basically by bringing your attention first to the lower chakras i wanted you to experience the same dilation through the sushumna that is the idea so if it is happening perfect yes rakesh ji yeah so i am able to feel the dilation in in breath uh, i am able to feel up till uh, my diaphragm actually mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. somewhere in between manipur and anahatcha mm-hmm. yeah doesn't matter hey, this is your experience now you yeah. have to build on this experience okay this lotus opening program it's a it's a very subtle thing you have seen that in your experience yeah. because you've gone through it you can see it's a very subtle thing but it's a very very powerful thing iska power aaj samajh mein nahi aayega iska power ek mahine mein bhi samajh mein nahi aayega iska power aapko karte 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 6 mahine mein samajh mein aaye ho sakta hai 2 saal mein pura samajh mein aaye yeah that i cannot guarantee but this is going to be such a powerful part of your breath experience that you will wonder how come nobody knows about it nobody talks about it why yeah. is it only somebody like me who comes and talks about it yeah. you will be amazed at what the total magic is going to do in you mm. it's going to change you so thoroughly every part of your every part of your body will be affected by this simple thing that you are going to do now yeah okay. but how much you are able to intensify or you know make it uh, a deeper part of your experience will depend totally on you now yeah. one more thing i need to caution you ye jo abhi aapka experience aaya it's a very subtle experience if you do not hold on to it it can slip out of your fingers like this yeah it can just slip out of your fingers and then it will be very hard for you to bring your awareness and attention and experience back to this yeah so kariye regularly kariye it's a very gentle thing let it be part of your experience it will come back it may slip out but since it has happened in your experience now chances are it will come back it may not come back exactly when you want if you allow it to slip out it may come back a little later but come back to it will but i don't want it to slip out of your fingers i want it yeah. to be there i want it to be yeah. part of your experience and you build on this yeah so a quick question so when when we are doing this dilation uh, i am taking breath from uh, breath in from top 
and dilation is uh, uh, I'm doing. And then simultaneously, I have to continue the other part also that as breath is coming in, yes, uh, yes, the breath yes. is okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. because your see, everybody talks about the sushumna as running up the or along the spine. Mm. But very few people mention that the sushumna, at least that is my experience, has a double down the spine and up the spine bow. Unfortunately, most people think along the spine, it's only one channel. Mm. But my experience clearly shows me that it is, there are two channels. One is, that is why I was bringing your attention again and again to that inner, which is what some people say a middle, somewhere in the middle and the one towards the outside. So when you dilate the, the one that is the breath that is going down, fine, let that dilation happen there but also allow that dilation to happen up along the spine yeah. or up along the back of the spine. So the best way to do this is as you get the experience of your breath moving down towards the spine, to, sorry, as you get the experience of your breath moving down towards the muladhar, and when you are about to turn or if you, you get the sense that you're turning your breath yeah. up the spine, at that moment at the base of the spine, allow that little expansion. Okay. It's it's not the anus. It's not the it's no, not no, the no, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I it's, got a that. Uh, okay. it's a different, it's a different and area. After that turning, I have to allow that expansion to happen. Yes, all up along the spine. The yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That is how that is how yeah, we yeah. will okay. become we will become proficient in yeah. moving our energy beautifully down and yeah, up this yeah. way. And when you are able to move your energy beautifully down and up this way, can yeah. you imagine how much control you can take on your yeah. life or over your yeah, emotions yeah. and so on? So bring this yeah. into your experience. Very good. Go on. Sangeeta ji, you want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, I, I'm just feeling one channel up the spine. You know, Going down, it is still in the front portion only. It's not uh, near the spine. Let it, let it come when it comes. See, I can't force that experience into you. Yeah. So as you go deeper into breath work, as you bring your attention more, as you learn to relax your belly deeper, I don't, suddenly it'll hit you one day. Okay. And suddenly still, it'll... like when I was doing all this, again, my head was going heavy. Hmm. But now it is okay. Like, this time heaviness came, but as I stop and sit, it's uh, okay. It's normal. As your, as your sushumna widens, as the sushumna begins to widen, I call it lotus opening. As the lotus begins to open wider, all these things will become a history. These are aches, pains, these difficulty. Even your phlegm, you will be able to move phlegm through your system beautifully. Simply by using the technique that I've shown now, you have to go deeper. But simply by moving your breath along this, you'll be able to throw out the phlegm beautifully. When you are able to throw out the phlegm, basically you are clearing every chakra. Okay. Every time you cleanse your shunna, Anything you do to, to cleanse your sushumna directly impacts your chakras. You are directly cleansing your chakras without your even realizing. But as you continue cleansing your chakras, stuff will keep coming. Buried stuff, karmic stuff, emotional okay. stuff, mm -hmm. junk, junk, all this will happen. You have to deal with it. See, as you go deeper into adhyatma, there will be a speeding up. There will be a speeding up Remember one thing, my worst enemy is me. I don't have a worst enemy outside. Outside. It's all inside. Worst, huh, my worst enemy is here, right mm -hmm. inside me. Mm -hmm. I have to deal with my worst enemy on my own, with my own awareness and work and so on. So every time any of these issues come up, I just have to shine the torch of awareness. Dire dire sab diklega, sab diklega. Because if you if you increase the pace of your journey towards Adhyatma. Paramatma, 
if you as you increase as you accelerate as you put your foot on the accelerator and move start moving fast towards paramatma mm -hmm. paramatma has no choice but to help you get to him faster okay he has no choice so i have one question mm -hmm. that uh, <clears throat> when we are breathing in so we should feel a breath going down the front channel and the going down the spine also no please understand one thing i have always been since, since the beginnings i've been telling you the spinal channel is only up the spine up the spine okay so that when the breath is the going mm. up out then i should feel the two channels uh, one in the front of the spine and no, one the no no the 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 two channels will come into your experience when you are breathing in because you are channeling one in breath to chali ra but uh -huh. you are also channeling one part of that breath up the spine okay what we have been calling up the spine which is on the outside you are channeling that breath up the spine because if you allow the back of the spine movement to happen downwards uh -huh. your energy will start moving down and when your energy starts moving down we have no idea when you might get stuck in something Something. so as a standard practice to all my breathwork practitioners i always tell them your channel your spinal channel is only to move your breath up the spine upwards never so downwards is always I, i say always up always up no need to experiment with this so going up also it can be uh, two channels going up or just a single it can be if you are using the front channel to breathe down you can also use the middle channel and the outside channel to move up you can do that okay. i have no problem with that okay. but but as far as the outer channel is concerned the one up the spine towards the back okay. usta movement standard always up the spine always no messing around with that but i am feeling much lighter now mm -hmm. बहुत 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 लाइट लग रहा है मुझे। करते करते रहिए रहिए ये अब कुछ कुछ आएंगे आपके एक्सपीरियंस में आएगा ऑब्जर्व कि बिल्डिंग ऑन दिस सी देयर इज नो देयर इज नो बेटर टेक्निक देन ब्रेथवर्क राजो देर इज नो बेटर टेक्निक देन ब्रेथवर्क एंड वेन यू कंबाइन ब्रेथवर्क विथ चांटिंग मेडिटेशन योर जर्नी सी अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग मेरे जैसा पापी इंसान दुनिया में नहीं मिलेगा such a bad lifestyle 40 cigarettes a day for 20 years 40 cigarettes a day for 20 years you can't imagine how much damage i've done to myself yeah, yeah. you can't even imagine uske alawa kitne duniya mein jitne paap honge sab kiye maine sare ke sare paap kiye honge ji main main paapi insaan hu main 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 punya atma nahi hu main paapi aatmi paapi insaan hu atma to khair hamesha jo hoti hoti hai but i'm a paapi insaan so you know i'm not taking any credit there jitne dosh hai duniya mein sare hai mere yet breath work has come as a boon boon so much clarity so many insights papa and turned me it switched me ab mere se mai karna chahta hu paap to mere se nahi hota paap acha one more take... question i have uh should i do like i do chanting every day so should i do my chanting after my breath work or before no. the breath work do your chanting with your breath work with the breath work uske bare mein main baad mein batunga aaj samay nahi karunga but one aaj. one one example i'll give you one simple example i'll give you so for example if you want to do the om chanting ha huh. if you want to do om chanting and if you want to speed up your karma <laughs> if you hmm. if you really want to want speed up your karma when you do the om you know like a yin yang yin yang ka jante na dark and light that movement one is going downwards one is going upwards bring that movement sahasra say as if shiva is moving downwards towards shakti muladhar say as if shakti is moving up along the spine towards shiva oh to this, wonderful that's wonderful so sounds wonderful i wish i was able to do it and no no and get the vibrations get the vibrations of om starting both at the sahasra and at the muladha and get this movement and then see the maza okay and then see the maza aur and isko aur isko aur bhi aage le jana to ek aur technique wo abhi nahi batunga baad mein batunga ha nahi aur mat bataiye confuse ho jayenge ha confuse ho jayenge bahut kuch hai ha ha 
Yeah, Priya ji, I think you've been waiting to say something. Is it okay? I can leave now. I have to. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. But three Om karke jaiye. Three Om karke jaiye. Okay. बोलिए प्रिया जी को हाँ ओके सर नाउ आई थॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू ओम सर आई हैव ओनली टू क्वेश्चंस दिस ब्रेथ वर्क व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर डूइंग इट विथ सिंगल ब्रेथ लाइक आई जस्ट रियलाइज्ड इट नाउ सिंगल इनहेलिंग एंड सिंगल एक्सहेलिंग आई मीन इट्स नॉट कंपलसरी व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इस इट इट इज very naturally just then i observed okay i took only one breath so it is so long till i dilate all the chakras so could extend i mean it it is something nice otherwise normally you will not be able to do it so that one thing second thing can we do it while just before going to sleep oh yes oh yes in fact if you wish to go to sleep if you want to fall asleep very fast very simple thing short breaths allow your breath to move towards the belly one part of the breath you know belly but wo jo hota hai na apna normal belly breathing wala allow but you know shorter breaths one moves towards the belly and move the hanuman master breath from the base of the spine as if you are channeling one part of that breath up the spine just abhi kar raha hu na more or less the same thing just do this within within a few minutes you'll fall asleep Okay. Within a few yeah, I'm I'm doing it for the past one week uh, with one one breath only. I'm going ah, to sleep. Ah, But uh, this uh, focusing on the chakra, chakra dilation. Can we do it just before going to sleep? And yeah, can we fall asleep with the lotus so. opening? It's a very powerful. It's a very powerful program. इसको तो आज आपने पहली बार जीवन में एक्सपीरियंस किया. You have you didn't even know about this concept. and i don't think there is anybody who shares this concept either but in my experience is such a powerful thing it's it is such a powerful thing that hanuman master breath and the lotus opening together they can supercharge every aspect of your life i'm telling you every aspect of your life clarity will come to you uh, adhyatmik journey jo badhegi badhegi your thinking will become so much clearer you become much more creative you'll become much more you'll see many benefits it's a it's an endless list endless list of benefits and actually one more thing uh, maybe this might be helpful for others yes like how you said past 5 uh, 6 days really i was going cranky uh, sort of uh, you know past frustration or anger so so many other emotions but then uh, just took it like uh, yes i'm cleansing cleansing and it is coming out sort of sometimes i used to do journaling or some mantra chanting good, or good. just just get out to the balcony like i'll try to i don't i don't uh, suppress it it is coming out mm. mostly i'll keep silent and sit with the book because it is better otherwise like i might show it on to my kids somewhere else this comes out mm. Sure. so it was uh, like it might help some years uh, i had heavy headache also mm-hmm. something equal to migraine sort of very long mm-hmm. hours of headache and then with breathing but um, surprisingly i fell asleep mm-hmm. because that that never happens with me sir uh, mm-hmm. hardly i sleep for 3 to 4 hours it's not about stress and all that mm-hmm. i am like that uh, i'll go to bed and at least one hour i need to fall off uh, into deep sleep but with this past one week i really had a very good sleep even if it is for 6 hours very uh, wonderful sleep no need for a alarm and uh, i get up very fresh early in the morning so my thoughts so much now that uh, uh, hard feelings and all like from 8 hours to 6 hours to 3 hours so no hardly half an hour one hour i know this will pass okay it's just coming up to go off kind of so that is my experience this past one week it's really wonderful yeah you'll overcome that don't worry about it but now use your the lotus opening combine this with the other breath work so okay. this is not this is not a stand alone this has to be combined with the other thing that you've learned so far so this is an addition to that okay so i'll i'll share that in the group as well and 
आप लोगों की जो एक्सपीरियंसेस हो रहे हैं ना लाइक समथिंग दैट कैन इंस्पायर अदर्स लाइक व्हाट यू शेयर जस्ट नाउ शेयर दिस सो दैट अदर्स कैन आल्सो गेन फ्रॉम योर एक्सपीरियंस यस यस एंड इवन फिजिकली आल्सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय नी इंजरी लाइक आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू योगा प्रैक्टिसेस रेगुलरली बट आई कुड सी दैट फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन माय बॉडी लाइक इट इज वेरी नाइस it will uh, increase yeah. not just mentally physically mm. i really feel very fit and started with the mm. uh, slow practices like i'm not uh, straining myself but mm. i could feel the flexibility That's very right. much yeah. flexibility will increase no doubt very good thank you priya ji yeah uh, rakesh ji sorry rakesh ji has been waiting sorry. for me so uh, this this so, breath that we learned just now will be the last one to practice in this series right no 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 no, no. i mean not uh, uh, for tomorrow's class but what i'm say, uh, what i no, mean no, no, no. after no, 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 no. one breath i should do this or which one you, should i do you have to combine you have to combine it see that's what i was telling shanmuga ji just now priya ji just now this is hmm. i'm building into everything so now when you do that you know drawing in the breath do it with this lotus opening let that same you know as you draw breath from your uh, manipura draw that breath with this expansion with this dilation okay. so i'm building into it i'm not taking i'm not saying ki isko kar lo usko chhod do nahi i am taking you to a far 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 more powerful breath Yes, but i cannot okay. take you i cannot take you there in one day so i have to build on it slowly hai na to practice aap log karoge share karoge mujhe malum rahega kaisa ho raha hai and then we keep building on that so that is what you do yeah, okay. right uh, sneha ji i want your uh, back uh, your feedback sneha ji uh, yeah it's the same one which i shared some time back uh, like i was able to lie down and do all the breathing i could feel the sensation and um, usually i i have to cough and then i wake up in the middle and all those things but today that didn't happen where else i i just had a lunch like 2 hours before but still this uh, this i uh, this time i was now, in a much much better condition okay so now you go deeper into lotus opening combine this with your other breath work practice this more and even when you do the shwasko shuddhi kriya elements of the shwasko shuddhi kriya you can actually combine with this uh, lotus opening it will help you clear whatever blockages are there and you do have some blockages it will help you clear them beautifully much much faster so bring sure, it sure. into your practices okay sure, sure. let's let's do our three homes and then if anyone has anything to say i'll take it otherwise we'll sign off close your eyes and use that uh, the the lotus opening with the with the om as well If anyone has any comment, anything to say, uh, I'll take it quickly. Otherwise, we can sign off. No Thank you all. Have a beautiful evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Please do all your practices. Namaste. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sh- Thank you. you were saying something, Shweta Mbari ji. Yes. So sorry. Uh, as I was yeah, practicing go. again, you put me back to the posture. I yeah. I could feel sensations in the mula dhara, which I have never felt so far. Okay. Yeah. So it's good no problem with that thank you thank you very much see you tomorrow thank you see you